What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. We are rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates for you guys to enjoy over the summer transfer window. So if you want to stay up to date first and fast with all the latest Manchester City transfer news on YouTube, make sure you have subscribed. Also don't forget as well, social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, my email also in the description below to if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video 500 likes once more is the aim so any help towards that would be much appreciated and also don't forget as well most importantly let me know your thoughts in the comments below as i'm always interested in what you do have to say with regards to these transfers without further ado though let's crack on with this video and we're going to start off with the outs and we've got an update on Isaac Cabore. Now Fabrizio Romano over on Twitter has confirmed and other sources as well, a couple of sources in France have also confirmed this, uh, have said that Marseille are now in talks with Manchester City to sign Issa Cabore on loan. It is believed that Marseille are angling for a loan to buy option here for Issa Cabore, so I'd presume that would be a loan for this season and then an obligation to buy for next summer. They are also discussing the potential of loaning Issa Cabore this summer for, until next season uh, for the whole season and then having an option to buy rather than an obligation to buy for next summer. If I'm Manchester City, I'm insisting that there'd be an obligation rather than an option to buy. We have already rejected a big offer from Nottingham Forest earlier this summer of £20 million, which to me was crazy. I would have accepted that offer, but there we go. And so if we're looking at a fee that's uh, not going to get us as much and going to another club, then I don't really understand the transfer business there unless the finances and the breakdown of how that money was going to be paid by Nottingham Forest just didn't make sense to Manchester City. That information hasn't been released, so I don't actually know the full details on that. So uh, we'll see. So uh, Man City might just be insistent on getting getting um, upfront fees and accepting less and getting things upfront rather than accepting more but being paid over time which is how some transfers are done and this could be the same so we'll have to see what direction this Issa Cabore transfer does head in but it does look like he's going to be heading to the south of France on loan from City at the very least here and whether it's going to be an obligation or option to buy that remains to be seen now moving on to the ends we have a big update on Sergio Gomez he is expected to be Manchester City's newest signing and it's expected to be done very soon the Telegraph have said that Sergio is now in the northwest of England ahead of his move to Manchester City from Anderlecht we do already know that he has had his medical checks with Manchester City it's all about securing them final details to make this transfer happen we have already a couple of days ago had that here we go from Fabrizio Romano we do know this transfer is happening and it's a fee believed to be around 11 to 12 million pounds. I think it's just below 12 million pounds. We're looking at 11.9 million, which could rise to as much as just below 17 million pounds with achievable add ons. So we'll see how he ends up performing uh, for Manchester City. And Sergio Gomez looks like he's going to be a Manchester City player sooner rather than later. That could even be within the next day or so. I am expecting official confirmation of that uh, very soon from Manchester. Manchester City. Now, Pep Guardiola has been speaking about Sergio Gomez. I don't know whether this has been lost in translation or not, but uh, what he said is very interesting, and that is that uh, he's confirmed, Pep has, that Sergio Gomez is going to be used by Manchester City around the first team squad, confirming that he isn't going to be loaned out to Girona, who are part of the CFG, which is what we thought the plan was. That plan then adapted, and it came uh, was reported that Sergio Gomez was going to be given until the end of the month, uh, so Pep can have a look at him to see what he's capable of to stay at the Manchester City squad and then assess is he good enough for our squad or does he need a season out on loan uh, was what we was going to potentially be looking at but if he does stay with the Manchester City squad which is seemingly right now looking like what is going to happen we're going to have Gomez as an option Cancelo as an option and Wilson Esbrand as an option at left back for Manchester City and Pep's also said that City are still in the market for a senior left back as well so we could have a fourth left back potentially added to our squad which 
potentially could see Jao Cancelo uh, go and compete with Kyle Walker at right back or it could mean that players may be leaving players like Joshua Wilson S. Brand potentially going out on loan as well if we're reading between the lines so we'll have to see what happens as we head towards transfer deadline day at the end of the month. Uh, I'd be very surprised if Pep doesn't have a good look at Sergio Gomez and sees what he thinks there before making that decision. I think the decision has to be it's either Gomez or Wilson S. Brand that stays with the first team squad. The other will head out on loan somewhere so it'll be interesting to see where we go from there because we do have Nathan Ake and Emeric Laporte that can also help cover at left backs. We're overloaded with left backs and we're looking at a senior left back as well as we were speaking about uh, in yesterday's video with Kieran Tierney as well so there are players that are being considered by Manchester City so it's all about playing this well and seeing which players we want to go for but uh, yeah you hit that right ladies and gentlemen Sergio Gomez he's going to become a Manchester City player Man City are going to be signing a left back this is not a drill Man City are going to be signing a left back and it is going to be Sergio Gomez arriving from Anderlecht for 13 million euros so we're looking at around 11.9 million pounds and that is going to be done very soon by Manchester City which is very exciting so we're just waiting like I said on official confirmation but Gomez Spanish uh, young I think he's 23 years old he's good with his feet um, he's highly rated obviously with Anderlecht negotiating a price and City paying what is to me uh, a fairly large fee for a player that uh, is relatively relatively unproven in any of the senior big leagues so it's all about now uh, will Manchester City be able to make it work for him uh, how's he going to get his minutes how's he going to perform how's he going to adapt around the squad that's all what Sergio Gomez has got to look forward to and I'm sure he's looking forward to getting going and I personally cannot wait to see Gomez in the sky blue of Manchester City to see what he can do on the pitch and show everybody just why Manchester City here have spent millions of pounds to bring him to our football club and as i've already mentioned we're signing a left back which is exciting in itself so there we go so there we go that has been the video i hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the short and sweet video make sure like always do leave a thumbs up 500 likes is the aim to only help towards that would be much appreciated also don't forget as well to let me know what you think of these transfers in the comments below subscribe to my channel as well if you're new around here press that red button press the bell and put your push notifications on doing daily manchester city transfer videos for you guys to enjoy so do make sure you have subscribed so you can stay up to date first and fast on youtube with all the latest manchester city transfer news this summer also don't forget as well social media links they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries and i will see you guys tomorrow religiously for the next daily manchester city transfer update so i've been jsgc thank you everyone for watching i hope everyone is safe and well peace Ciao for now.